Hi everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. What a difference seven days make. This time last week I was travelling over the hills, snow everywhere, frosty, minus two. And today, lovely, lovely Pennine water. It wasn't too cold. I had a good chat with Andy about how the weather has affected him, including the summer, which was quite enlightening to what I had to go through with over six or seven weeks it was closed but anyway i brought three flies with me today and the first one i tried out was the cat stalking bug but i made it with a longer tail to enable me to use it as a pulling lure so i put it on a sink tip line and after about 15 minutes fish struck into it quite happy with that but nothing else after that nothing else wanted to touch it Eyes off. The green apps fly. You can use it any method. You can use it on intermediate, sinking, floating, sink tip. You can strip it back, you can roll it, pull it, you can figure eight, slow figure eight, or sometimes just fish it under a bung. Fish love it. And this is what accounts for most of my fish today. A friend of mine fished it the other week, 30 odd fish. Even his fishing partner, 30 odd fish, they were using a sink tip on a long leader, 18 foot, two flies, stripping it back as fast as they can, and they were just hitting fish left, right, and center. Today, I didn't do roly polies, I just did nine, 10 inch strips or a fast figure eight, and fish were hitting it and hitting it. I got myself about four or five fish, and also you can fish this at any time of the year, and it comes in a variety of colors. The next fly I moved on to was a stalking daddy. I'd done two variants, one with a yellow head, one with a red head. And they had basically daddy long legs at the back and a solid black body. Fished it on a sink tip, cast it out, fish took it, fish snapped me. It were a wind knot. So quickly put a new leader on, only I think it's about 7.8 pound ghost line I've got. Then I cast it back out into the general area, about four or five rod lengths out bringing it back in and this was the cast after it had snapped me fish took it and it's quite a decent fish as well and it's the first time i've fished this stalking daddy so i was very happy with it if anybody's seen video 150 today i was going after the fish i lost at the end of that video that was on a green app so primarily today i was fishing the green apps but i brought the stalking daddy and a stalking cat's whisker. They proved that they worked, so I was happy with that, but primarily I wanted to fish the green apps. It was also nice to bump into a few viewers, having a chat, a uh, metal lad called Keith, had a good sit down ch chatting about other YouTubers and how they do their content and how some have gone in a way professional and others have declined rapidly. Uh, you've got to find the time to do it. As I said, this is me and my days out. Anyway, let's land this fish and let's get on to the next one. That's it. So I'm still on the green apps, sink tip line, casting out to my front, off to my right, off to my left. Uh, Rick was just left of me, had a stonking slab. And the funniest thing is, Andy came over, ready to take a picture, and I heard Rick say, get away, you're gonna, you're gonna jinx me. And poor lad lost it. There was another guy on, on the opposite side of the bank 
to where I was fishing originally. If you look on the Pennine Facebook page, uh, I think he was fishing like a tadpole. And he had some really nice double figure trout. But they were everywhere showing, which was a lot better than last week because you had to go hunting for them last week. But you could see roughly where they were. I think a Pennine biscuit would have done really well today, but I didn't bring one with me anyway. I've done really well on a red blood apse worm. Green, it's new. Just one other thing, the beads. What I've done with them, because my first couple got absolutely destroyed, um, I put a bit of UV resin on the beads themselves. Not on the legs, but just on the beads and around, up and about. Now I've hit them with the ultraviolet light. Uh, this is just to toughen them up. And I'll find out if this has worked uh, next week when I go. Mainly just to prevent the beads from falling apart. But anyway, thanks very much for watching everybody, and I'll catch you soon. Hopefully Scout Dyke opens up in a month, so I've got another fishery to go to there, and I'm going to get myself down on the river again, get some brown trout, a bit of streamer fishing. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Ah, that's a decent one.